Hello everyone. So we are back with this series of lectures on Puritara Rato and this is the 11th video on that series. In this we'll discuss about this very important classification of vasculitis. Okay. So just stay with me till the end of the video and I'll make sure that you vasculitis pe koi question galat nahi hoga. Okay. So first of all, vasculitis are divided into large vessel, medium vessel and small vessel vasculitis. Okay. So in large vessel vasculitis, we have one is Takayasu arteritis, okay, and another one is giant cell arteritis, which is also known as temporal arteritis. Okay. So, it is a large vessel vasculitis, but the large vessels are involved here, okay. Then we have medium vessel vasculitis, like polyarteritis and nodosa, and Kawasaki disease. And then we have small vessel vasculitis, which are classified as NK associated small vessel vasculitis, which is rather important. Hai. Like microscopic polyangitis, granulomatosis with polyangitis, which is also known as Wegener's disease, and eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangitis, which is also known as Church's disease. Okay. And other than that, we have immune complex mediated small vessel vasculitis, like cryoglobinomic vasculitis. IgA vasculitis, which is also known as venusculin perfura, and anti C1Q vasculitis. Okay? So, first of all, large vessel vasculitis, matlab, major vessels involved, okay? like subclavian artery, aorta, okay? or you, your temporal artery, okay? branches of carotid arteries, major vessel. Medium vessel vasculitis, matlab, medium vessels involved, okay? like bronchial arteries, renal arteries. And small vessel vasculitis are majorly capillaries involved only. Uski renal capillaries involved only, leading to glomerulonephritis. Pulmonary capillaries can be involved, leading to diffuse alveolar hemorrhage. Okay. So let us discuss these large vessel vasculitis. The question abhi, jitna humne table padha, usme se ye bhi aa sakte ki which of the following is not a large vessel vasculitis or which of the following is a small vessel vasculitis, is not a small vessel vasculitis, or which of the following is not true, you can ask either this is a small vessel vasculitis or a large vessel vasculitis or a medium vessel vasculitis. Now let us discuss about large vessel vasculitis. In large vessel vasculitis, we have giant cell arteritis and, and takayas. Both are large vessel vasculitis, both are granulomatous. Okay. For GCA, it majorly present after the age of 50 years. Most common artery involved is temporal artery. And most common symptom is headache or due to the involvement of the ophthalmic artery, there can be blurring of vision. Treatment is steroids. In Takayasu arteritis, again, present mostly below the age of 40 years. Most common artery involved is left subclavian artery. Most common symptoms are ki claudication on the upper limb or lower limb. And treatment is again steroids. Okay. For diagnosis, we use these inflammatory markers, ESR and CRP, and followed by vessel biopsy. Okay. Now we have this medium. Vessel vasculitis. In medium vessel, we have polyarteritis nodosa and Kawasaki disease. For polyarteritis nodosa, one important thing is that it is associated with Hep B. Okay, so 30% of patient with pain will have Hep B. The question kafi bar pucha ja chuka hai. Okay, other than that, vessels involved are medium vessels like renal artery can be involved, bronchial artery can be involved. Capillaries are not involved. So, lung capillaries involved in the diffuse alveolar hemorrhage. Nahi hoga. Or, kidney ki capillaries involved in the so glomerulonephritis. Nahi hoga. Renal artery involved in so renal artery stenosis can be there. Treatment is again steroids plus minus if hepatitis B is positive, then antivirals. Kawasaki, as we know, is a vasculitis of small children. Mostly present in children with less than 5 years of age. 
there will be bilateral conjunctival congestion skin rashes and one thing that most of the time the question had been asked on Kawasaki diseases, it can lead to coronary aneurysms. One of the complication is coronary aneurysms. And the treatment here is not steroids but IVIG. Okay. Then we have small vessel vasculitis. Small vessel we will only discuss about NK associated. In NK associated, we have pregnancy or granular metastasis with polyangitis. We have pan. Then we have TGPA or Charles Ross. Bagnus or GPA is associated with CN drop, while both of these are associated with PN drop. CNK or cytoplasmic NK is also known as anti protein S3. While PAN and EGPA, while PNK is also known as anti MPO. Okay. Now for Wegner's, system involved mostly are upper respiratory tract in the form of nasal septal perforations. Lower respiratory tract, the form of cavities, thick wall cavities in lung, and renal involvement in the form of glomerulonephritis and RPGA. So tell me in the comment section ki, which type of RPGA is caused by these anti associated vasculitis. Now, one thing I forgot to tell this Kawasaki disease, mein, there is strawberry tongue seam. Most of the time, a question has been asked on this. The strawberry tongue is seen. Strawberry tongue is also seen in scarlet fever. In Wagner's, here is strawberry gingiva seen. Strawberry gingiva. Okay. One more thing about Wagner's is that it is a granular metastasis. So, out of these three small vessel vasculitis, Wagner's is a granulomatous vasculitis, EGPA is a granulomatous vasculitis. Yaad karne ke jura tini naam mein aara hai. GPA means granulomatosis with polyangitis. EGPA means eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangitis. And EGPA mein E aara hai, eosinophilic. So it is mostly associated with allergic symptoms or asthma symptoms. Okay. For pain. Again, renal involvement in the form of RPGN or glomerulonephritis is seen, plus skin purpura, palpable skin purpura is seen. So, palpable skin purpura is a feature of small vessel vasculitis. It is seen in Wagner's, it is seen in Pan, and oh, sorry, it is seen in MPA, microscopic polyangite. This is microscopic polyangite. So it is seen in microscopic polyangitis, it is seen in GPA and it is seen in EGP. Okay. So palpable purpura and skin is seen in all three. Then in EGP, again skin rash plus RPG plus one important thing here is allergic symptoms. Okay. All the best guys, we'll meet in next class. Just learn this table by heart. I love it.